the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. I had a blast at Bitcoin 2025 in Las Vegas. I got a chance to talk to so many people, see so many new machines, and I had so much fun. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Canon Avalon Q, the Mini 3, and the 3S. I had a chance to talk with Canon themselves and did a little interview. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, hit the like button, it helps more than you know. Consider subscribing to the channel. I got tons of crypto content just like this. I'll scroll through it on the screen if you wanna check those out. And also please use the links in the description if you wanna support my channel. I will leave links to these miners that we're talking about below and I really appreciate it if you use them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey everybody, Great Good Mining here. I'm here with V, and we are at Bitcoin 2025 in Las Vegas. How are you doing so far? I'm doing great. It's yeah. so exciting. This conference is always such a great time, and there's always so many brilliant minds in one space interested in the same thing, which is Bitcoin, financial technology, financial freedom, and I'm just so happy to be a part of this event again. Me too. It's been a blast, and what better place to talk about some mining equipment that mines Bitcoin than at the Bitcoin conference. So behind us, we have the Avalon Q and everybody is asking me about this miner. Every time I make any videos, they're like, when's the Avalon Q coming out? And they want to know all the specs. He's going to talk to us about that today. So. Tell me how many watts and what the hash rate is to start with. Absolutely. So to start, this is a professional grade home miner. This is the most efficient home miner in our Avalon series at 90 terahash a second. Not only is it super efficient uh, with 18.6 joules per terahash on the power efficiency, but it's also super quiet. The decibel on this is so low. It's mining right now. Yeah. We have the microphone right next to it and you just can't hear it. Yeah. It's amazing. Quiet, yeah. Very quiet. Yesterday I did a short, you guys might have seen it, and it was 47 decibels. And it was quieter yesterday because it is electric today. Um, yesterday was industry day, so there's a lot less people. I could not hear this thing, even though it was quiet in here. It's very impressive. So now we know the hash rate, we know the wattage. Um, can you tell me when these will be shipping out? Do you have an idea of when that will be? Absolutely. So we're looking to ship out our first batch in July. So that's pretty exciting. So anyone who has put in their order, that's when we're looking to make our first shipment. Okay. Yeah. And you had told me that there's different power modes we can use on the, on the Avalon Q. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the different power modes that are available? So we have three modes. We have the standard mode, we have the high power mode, and we have the eco mode. And what's so cool about our Avalon Home Series is that we have created an app, an app, Avalon Family app, that makes it so easy to operate your device from your phone. So you can actually set those modes from your phone. That's awesome because as a home miner, we need the convenience. We're not um, professional miners. We don't have a whole warehouse of these. And having an app that you can use that's so easy to use and also if you see the price of Bitcoin maybe changing and you want to go into low power mode so you can stay profitable, exactly. that is exactly what you need as a home miner. You need the flexibility. You need it to be quiet so your wife doesn't yell at you. <laughs> and you want it to be efficient because you want to be able to mine into the future. So um, we have some other models that are standing behind us actually. Um, we could talk about the 3S also. Uh, this is the Nano 3S and this mines at 6 terahash a second. Nice. And it's around 110 watts, I believe, 114 watts. watts. And yeah. also, this one as well. This is 110 volts. So it consumes 1,674 watts, but you can plug it into your 110 volt yeah. home home power supply. That's that's great. And that I should have asked that question already because that's very important. If you're home mining and you're trying to set up an electrical setup for this miner, yeah. you would need like a dedicated outlet for it. But it's much easier to set up a of 120 outlet than it is for a 220 outlet. Um, you can you probably have looked into the cost of setting up 220 if you're thinking about mining at home. It's much cheaper to get an outlet for 110 for sure. So we've got the Avalon Q, we've got the 3S, and we've got the Mini 3. So now we're standing in front of the Mini 3, which is a very cool miner for several reasons. Sorry to interrupt your video, but a quick word from the sponsor of the video, Crypto Miner Bros. Crypto Miner Bros has the best brands and the latest models from all the manufacturers. We've got Ice River, we've got Bitmain, we've got Canon, we've got Alphapex, we've got everything you could want. And the prices that you see on the website are the prices shipped to your door. You can also get a discount if you use discount code Raider, and it's for $70 off each miner in your order. So that's a pretty good deal. And speaking of good deals, if you wanna check out their offers section, 
they have flash sales on certain mining equipment. So the Canon Avalon Q, Bulk Miner, and a few of the Bitmain Miners. So check them out. Use discount code GREATER for $70 off your order or use the link in the description of the video. Thanks for listening. Now back to your video. I have been trying to keep my house warm over winter and I've been moving miners from one room to the other and it's guesswork because some of them have certain wattage and it's getting too hot in one room, too cold in another room. So what I love about this is it can be set to a certain temperature and it'll adjust on its own. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. And all of that can also be managed through the Avalon family app. So that's another really cool thing. You can you can see it all happen in real time on your app. That's great. I love that. And what is the hash rate on this bad boy? So the hash rate is 37.5 uh, terahash a second. And the power efficiency is 21.3 joules per terahash. Nice. So it's a very efficient home miner that can adjust on its own. You can use it to heat a room and you don't have to guess. You can watch it on your app. It's perfect. Mining Bitcoin at home couldn't be any more convenient than this. Absolutely. And another, another quick uh, fun fact is that your average home heater is anywhere between 1200 to 1600 watts. So with this, not only are you using less energy, but you're also you know, running your chances at hitting a block with Bitcoin. Yeah. So whether you're mining uh, with a pool or you're solo mining, you're still making some kind of profit back on the, on the power that you're consuming. Yeah with your home heating, yeah. Yeah, and you're saving the money you would have spent anyway on heating your home, so it's perfect, I love it. So thank you for taking the time to chat with me and show off some of these awesome home miners from Canon. I'll leave links to what I can in the description if you're looking to pick up one of these units. Um, thanks again for your time and have fun for the rest of the conference. Absolutely, have fun and we also love to hear your comments in the section below. We love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, any questions that you have, you know, I'm sure we're all, we're all happy to answer them. Yeah, thanks you guys. If you're newer to crypto and you haven't heard of Canon before, just so you know, Canon is OG. They created the world's first ASIC Bitcoin miner, and they're also the first mining machine manufacturer to be listed on NASDAQ. So they are not new to the game. They've been around for a long time and they build excellent stuff. So if you're also looking to move past just home mining, they have all kinds of excellent mining solutions. They have air cooling boxes, immersion cooling boxes. We're talking about enterprise level stuff here. And then they have larger ASICs if you guys are interested, A15, A14, A13. I will leave the link, like I said, to Canan's website in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out. And I really do appreciate that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, like I said, hit the like button. It helps more than you know. Consider subscribing to the channel. Use the links in the description. And last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.